looking for lung cancer, treating them early might actually cure you or prolong your life. Well, it's a leading cause of death among cancer patients, lung cancer. November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month, and doctors say the only way to lower the numbers is by raising awareness. 25 News reporter Eliza Navarro shares why getting tested for lung cancer, even without symptoms, can be life-saving. Good morning, Eliza. Good morning, Lindsay. Unlike breast cancer, lung cancer is something you can't see and you can't feel. I spoke with Dr. Murillo from Ascension Providence, who says early detection is the key to winning the battle. I was told one time that you don't find lung cancer until it's too late because it ain't a lot of symptoms to lung cancer because you can't feel it, you can't see it. It's a silent killer and one not often talked about lung cancer. It is the most lethal cancer in this country, meaning that kills more people than any of the other cancers. Patricia Hardy was diagnosed with stage one lung cancer twice, seven years ago and recently in June. Like most patients, she had no idea she had lung cancer. She was diagnosed after going to the doctor for a different reason. My hip started hurting and it made me go to the doctor and they sent me to the birth room to do a CT. And they went up on the CT and got just enough of that lung to see that that nodule started growing a little bit. Dr. Murillo says early detection of lung cancer is the key to winning the battle. However, like Hardy, most people don't know it's developing inside of their body. The biggest problem it is that when patients already have symptoms for lung cancer, the stage is usually advanced. We want to diagnose patients with lung cancer before they have symptoms. So how do you know if you should get a screening for lung cancer? That depends on your age and whether you are a smoker or not. Dr. Murillo says people who are most vulnerable are those between the ages of 55 and 80 and people who were or are smokers. It requires a long history of tobacco use to put you in that risk. Hardy is a smoker and says she doesn't believe it was the cause of her cancer. I don't. I don't. Might be just denial on that. I do every now and then one or two, but that's it. Regardless, she is an advocate and encourages people to get tested regularly. Just get tested, you know, and, and keep going to the doctor. You know, if you, even if you do it once a year, they can catch it early from one year to the next. A screening that can save your life. Dr. Murillo says smoking is an addiction and understands how hard it can be to stop smoking. He wants to remind people that here at Ascension Providence, there is help and support to lead you in the right direction. Live in Waco, Eliza Navarro, 25 News.